All right. So we have the second portion of 3-5 today. Remember that this part will not be on the quiz tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and I want to first look at negations of conditional statements. So we'll, we're going to take two statements here. First of all, P, you itemize deductions. And Q, you pay less in taxes. So if I put this in a conditional statement, it is, if you itemize deductions, then you pay less in taxes. So P, if P, then Q is the symbolic form. So, but the question is, how do I negate that entire statement? Yeah, for a conditional, it's an if-then statement. So what I want to do is negate... Yeah, those will always be conditional. Okay, here is, this highlighted portion is what is really important here, that you need to know that when I negate if P, a P, then Q, it becomes this. And this is based on uh, just a rule. I don't want to have to go through the entire truth table to show that it's true. I'm just going to ask you guys to trust me. Okay? So whenever you have a conditional and you want to negate it, the negation of it is P and not Q. So, down below is the two sentences of both those cases. It is not the case. If you itemize deductions, then you pay less in taxes. That is the left side of this right here. That's this portion right here. And the second portion is you itemize deductions and you do not pay less in taxes. Those two statements are equivalent. Is not the Next thing I want to cover is De Morgan's Law. Um, if you think back to last chapter, a lot of you guys came up with this law on your own because we practiced it enough. And you found that the intersection of two sets and then taking the, the not of those two sets is actually the same thing as A not union B not. So all you're doing is flipping it from an intersection, making them both negative, and making a union. So the same thing goes for A union B and making that whole statement not would be making it A not intersect B not. Okay, so taking that same rule that works the same way with logic okay so if I want to find the negation of P and Q that's the same thing as saying not P and or, or not Q we're just changing the direction of the and statement okay same thing with this one that's in the or, but it becomes an and over here, and then both of these become negated. So an example of that would be, it is not true that Bart Simpson and Tony Soprano are cartoon characters. Remember, when I'm saying it is not true in the beginning, that means you have this negation on the outside of some parentheses. Okay? It is not true that Bart Simpson and Tony Soprano are cartoon characters. So I wrote this out, and then we also know that the equivalent statement using De Morgan's Law is not P or not Q. So going back to the English, I can write this as Bart Simpson is not a cartoon character or Tony Soprano is not a cartoon character. So here's an example of this. Another one. It is not true that you leave by 5 p.m. or you do not arrive home on time. Okay? So once again, we have that it is not true that. So you have this negation on the outside. You leave by 5 p.m., that'll be P. You do not arrive home at, on time, so it'll be a not Q. Okay? So I wanted to look at how I would negate that entire sentence. So this would be not P and Q in this case. Notice that because the negation of the Q here, it becomes positive over here. 
So putting this into English, it is you do not leave by 5 p.m. and you arrive on time. So negations of conjunctions and disjunctions, it's just using that De Morgan's Law. The other example down below is all horror movies are scary and some are funny. So if we want to negate this, we're using De, De Morgan's Law. And it goes from all to some. So some horror movies are scary or none are funny. Because you go from some to none or all. Okay, so this is my last thing I want to cover for today. Um, I want to, if, if he says in the book, write a contrapositive statement to something, you know that the contrapositive is still equivalent. Okay, so here's an example. There's three... There are three statements within this compound statement. If it is not windy, we can swim and we cannot sail. So here's the original right here. Remember, when we're making a contrapositive, we are reversing statements. So, for instance, if I have P, then Q, I'm actually going to reverse it and make it not Q, then not P. Okay? So that is what we are attempting to do here. We have not Q and not R. And then the P becomes positive because it's negative over here. So we switch direction and we negate it. Okay, but from this point right here, we're going to use De Morgan's Law to get to the one below. So notice it's now not Q and it, from an AND it went to an OR. And then the R became positive and it was negative above. Well, the whole, the whole, you're asking since it was positive here because this is on the outside? Well, once we, once we actually distribute that negative and use De Morgan's Law, then it becomes positive down here, okay? So the final statement on this is if we cannot swim or we sail, then it is windy. Okay, so that is writing the contrapositive of the first one. And if you were to look at the truth tables for both of those, the final column would be exactly the same.